Well, those stories very shortly, but first of all, time for our fearless champion of the oppressed. He writes this, by the way, Alan Bezik. Uh, Alan, what's on offer this? Never mind who writes this. <laughs> who wrote The Rover's Return? <laughs> we ought to find him and kill him. Dear heaven. Well, you'll remember a couple of weeks ago, Gordon, we were talking about how the shops in our high streets are going out of business and being replaced by, well, it was alleged hairdressers, but all sorts of other sort of non selly type shops. Well, this week we have a story about a shop in Chester, a nice, environmentally sound, proper shop. It sells bikes, but the council doesn't think it's pretty enough. Chester is an historic city full of beautiful buildings. It's also full of all sorts of shops with all sorts of signs. So the owner of this shop in Northgate Street wants to know why the council have taken exception to his. It's a corporate sign. We asked for help in the first place. We didn't get it. Uh, the, the yellow is actually a, a downtoned yellow from what it's supposed to be because we took it off a, a listed building that was in London, uh, an action bike that's in London. So. Uh, again, it's a personal point. We asked for help, we didn't get it. We had to open the shop. We put the sign up to open the shop. And for 18 months, I've, uh, I've been battling with the council about it. This row has been going on for 18 months. Chester Council have produced this report for the inspector. But the sign's no worse than all the ones around it. Mr Dickinson, what is wrong with that particular sign? Well, the view of, of the planning department was that it was inappropriate for a listed building and had a detrimental effect on, on the character of the area as well. And so uh, when the application was received, it was refused. It's been to appeal. The inspector upheld that view, and that's how we've reached the state we're in now. A bit petty, a bit petty, really, I think. Um, he's an individual trader. His sole management there, he's struggling like the rest of us are along here. That All this street is mainly family businesses, small businesses. We have so many nice buildings in town and just to pick one building out of all the many, you know, I don't feel that there's a problem with that sign over any other. You've been told it's wrong, you've had an appeal, that failed, why not just swap it now? I can't afford to swap it. £400, it was made by a local man, a local company. Um, it was hand painted, it was on wood, which is what the requirements were. So. Uh, I'm not going to spend another £400 changing it. That sounds uh, very much like a stalemate there, doesn't it, Dan? It is, but hopefully Jeff and the council will find some compromise. But the bottom line is that because it's a listed building, the council now go to court, they can do, get permission to send two blokes with screwdrivers around and check it down. Though the council have assured me that that would be the very last resort, which I suppose is, is some comfort. So, but, but, I mean, certainly to me, I mean, it didn't look any worse than the shops on either side, did it? Well, it doesn't. We, we saw some shops in the city that were a damn sight worse, but I suppose the rules is rules is the feeling. Jeff's building's listed, the rest of the block isn't, so the other shops next to him can do pretty much what they like. The mind boggles. But what do you think? Tell us in the usual way. And of course, if you've got a problem, you can contact me. It's Alan Bezik at Bezik's Beat, PO Box 27, Manchester M60, 1SJ. You can email me, that comes direct to me, alan.bezik at bbc.co.uk. All the details on CFAX page 174. Please include a daytime telephone number and don't send documents and please don't send me a mobile phone. A bloke sent me a mobile phone this week, said that doesn't work, can you fix it? <laughs> and did no, you? I'm sending it back. <laughs> Thank you very much. See you next week, Alan. Now, Liverpool is hoping to...